Hi everyone, this is Radul Live. Thanks for joining us as usual. Now, um, I know that uh, football has taken a bit of a break, but it doesn't mean that there is no sport happening. There's lots of sport happening. And today I'm joined by uh, Tyson Juma. Now remember that name, Tyson Juma, because if I'm to predict correctly, in a year or two, you'll want to take selfies with him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. Tyson, True. how are you doing? I'm doing great. First of all, introduce yourself to us and tell us uh, when <coughs> you started uh, getting involved in sport. Because I understand it was rugby, now it's, uh, hand, now it's uh, sprint races. When did, you, when did you realize I want to be a sports person? Uh, when I was about 10 years in primary school. Mm -hmm. So I was, doing, I was doing football, soccer, that is. And, uh, and football, <laughs> we're in Africa, we're not in yeah, America. Okay, football. <laughs> yeah, I was doing football for my primary levels. And uh, I got into a bit of acrobatics in primary. Uh -huh. So I was doing foot football, acrobatics, and uh, sp sprints was once in a while. During competitions, I could show up and maybe compete in the school levels. Uh -huh. uh, then when I went to high school, I uh, moved from football to rugby. Now from Form 1 to Form 4, I played rugby and athletics. Then to University Masinde Muliro, rugby. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The minute you mentioned Louis Alan, <laughs> rugby. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, rugby. I love rugby. But why did you abandon football? Uh, when I got to high school, there were so many uh, footballers. Competition was yeah, high. Yeah, competition was high. You could not get a chance. You're a form one. You can't play in the school team. Mm. So, and rugby was new in the school. So we were actually the among the first people who started rugby in the school. Which school was this? Ringer Boys High School. Ah. Yeah. So we went there, saw guys, big guys, just training. Then I got to the team and I actually made my first team in the first day because <laughs> we had a, a district level in like two weeks. So uh, when I got to the pitch, I was a winger. I got the ball like twice, three times. Nobody could catch me. So Eish. I made the team. <laughs> I automatically made the team. You weren't bullied? Because usually those mar marables are not allowed <laughs> to play for the big team. You know, I was also tough. Uh -huh. I, was, I was a tough kid from, from one. So... I, I found even rugby more, more of my type. More yeah. of your game. Yeah. I'm told rugby is where you get the girls. The <laughs> <laughs> uh, True no, or false? I don't <laughs> you, don't have to you don't have to answer that. You don't have to answer. So you played rugby in school, yeah. but clearly it seems that uh, the sprint was always in you because yeah. sprint comes in use when you're mm -hmm. a footballer, when mm -hmm. you're a rugby player. Yeah. It's good to have that speed. Um, how, how much rugby did you do after? High school. After high school. Mm. Well, while I was in high school, I also used to play for clubs in here in Nairobi. So I was in Shama's Rugby Foundation. Uh -huh. They train at Harley Quinn's. So from from 2013, I was in an, from 2014, I was in an academy then uh, for high school, then went to university, played like four or five seasons. That's eight years ago. So you, how old yeah. are you? You're 14, 15 there. Yeah. And you're already playing for a club? Yeah. What? You're not good. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> so the, it was a foundation, uh -huh. so it, it like an age grid mm -hmm. from, under th from under 15, under 17, under 19. So I played in all the age grids in Chamas rugby. And then uh, from Chamas? From Chamas, I moved to Masinde Modiro. Ah. Yeah, most rugby. And th that's where you are now? Yeah. That's, wh that's yeah. where you still mm -hmm. are now. Yeah. But I, I, I saw that you were top try scorer. Tell me about some of your achievements in rugby. Um, I'm feel free to <laughs> boast, Tyson. Feel free to boast. I've been uh, the top scorer in uh, university championship, mm -hmm. the Seven Circuit University, for seven straight uh, legs. What? Scoring over 20, 20 tries in one in one leg. Come through. That's not Kidogo. Yeah. And then uh, in the championship, in the 15 sides, I was uh, second three times uh, in the top points. I was also a kicker. So I used to get a lot of points from kicks and tries. And a uh, championship, for those who don't know, is the, the league? The second league the to, ke to Kenya Cup. To Kenya Cup. Yeah. The second tier football league. Yeah, yeah. The, uh, rugby, rugby league, league sorry. To, to Kenya Cup. And you were a top try scorer. Yeah. So Collins, Jara has nothing on you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's a legend too. He's a legend. Yeah. <laughs> Do you aspire to be like him? I wanted to be like him. when I was Or in better. Better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. When I was uh, in club club level mm -hmm. i used to look up to collins in jera because he's also very good in sevens mm -hmm. and I'm, that's my game too so kenya has quite a, a vibrant rugby league at university level yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. 
So um, has that helped you to improve your game? Yes. I mean, yes. the level of competition, <coughs> how, how hard is it? You know, it, in, rugby, in, in, in university, it's a bit tough because mm. it's more of a derby. Every time you meet a, another university, it's, it's always tough because they want to prove who's who. Mm -hmm. So me playing for most, and most was one of the team I really wanted to play for. And uh, we, uh, we call ourselves Makaka. So most of the time what we... What does Makaka mean? Makaka means brotherhood. Hey, so okay. we play for each other. We, we are young boys who, also, who are always motivated and uh, w want to play for each other. So I think that's wha that was the main thing that uh, drove us through. So at some point you decided you don't play rugby anymore and yet you're so good. How, why? Uh, the injury. I got ah. a skull depression on my last game. A skull depression? A skull depression, yeah. That's why you have a car dent here? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. It was a bit deep. It's now two years since I, I got the, the skull depression. So that was my career ending injury. Last year, last year, uh, Feb. Okay, Two sorry, I have to pause there. <laughs> yeah. So your skull is dented? Yeah. So, and it actually got me when I was, I think on my starting to pick my career, my rugby career. What happened? Tell me through that. Uh, through it was that a final, incident. it was a final match, mm -hmm. the, the last match to Kenya Cup. So it was against um, uh, Main Machine, mm -hmm. University of Nairobi. Uh, it was a, a final to mm -hmm. the Kenya Cup. So the winner was to be promoted to Kenya Cup. Yeah. And it was a game that we really wanted to, we really wanted to play in the Kenya Cup. I also yeah. really wanted to play in the that Kenya Cup. That would have been nice. Yeah. And uh, it came during the COVID time. Uh -huh. And COVID was a bit tough for us and for me also. For everyone, yeah. I think. Yeah. So I, I trained like for, for seven months, uh -huh. training alone. I was living alone, staying alone in catch. Everybody's is gone home. I'm, I'm back in catch. We are training for that one match for like seven months. So you can imagine the pressure you, you, you had on yourself. Yeah. And we really had to win for mm -hmm. us, for the team, for the club, for our fans. So, and I was so much ready to give everything that day. And uh, things happened. It was tough. It was tough. So I you got up. It was a, like a rack in rugby. Uh -huh, you know, uh -huh. you have to s place the ball. So somebody just came and knocked my, <laughs> <laughs> knocked my head, <laughs> I think with a knee. Now, as a mother, that is why my children will never <laughs> play rugby. <laughs> <laughs> In every sport, the, there's injury, so. But d take me through that inc that day, that incident that day. So y did you know how bad the injury was? What did you feel? Did you black Actually, out? After, after, after that injury, I, I stood up and wanted to play for like another four or five minutes. Eish. I, I couldn't feel it, you know, adrenaline, it's, you're, you're it's high, yeah, you're high. you really want, you can't yeah. give up, you've trained like seven months to get this one match and then you want to give up on the, on the, on the, on the match day, so, uh -huh. but the physio outside saw this guy was not, yeah, I was not good, uh, was went it down. bleeding or no, it doesn't, just went it deep, went so deep, it's internal, that's yeah. even more scary, it swelled, it swelled, <sighs> and then when I, w when I got out in, in like five minutes, it was a bit of b a blackout. For the next five minutes, blackout. For <laughs> but I was there. I stayed outside there till uh, till the end of the of the game. Then went. I was taken to hospital. Mm -hmm. From there, uh, went for a blackout that night, and then got back myself the next morning. And you still wanted to play rugby. N uh, I was, but I was positive. That's one thing because I really wanted yeah. to play, and you know. And uh, I was so ready to give myself uh, that I knew maybe injury would have come. So it was not much pressure on me. Ha has it affected your health in any other way? No, 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 no. Eh, so you are lucky. I'm lucky. I'm lucky. What? Yeah, so it was, it was a bit tough. I remember the night in the hospital, the, mm. first, the first night. The doctor was like, tell me your, your, your uh, next of kin. <laughs> 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 you know, up there lying on the bed, you, you don't know even where you were. And then somebody asks you, next of kin. Then That's I scary. Yeah, yeah, it was scary. So I asked the doctor, Kone, am I dying? Am I, am I not going to make it today? Am I? Because that's how I felt. And we cry a bit. Uh, but thank God my girlfriend was there. We stayed uh, for like two days. But I picked up myself from the next day I was... I was you were fine. Yeah, I was good. I hope she slapped you when you were fine. <laughs> you're never playing rugby again. <laughs> yeah. What? But, but you see, uh, after the injury now, I got to track. Mm -hmm. and That's when you transitioned to, to, track, sprints. to sprints. 
Because you realize by this time that you also have a talent in sprint. Yeah, because I was a captain in primary, mm -hmm. captain in high school, and then I'm also fast in rugby. I was fast in soccer. So I tried to compose myself and mm -hmm. try to think of the things I used to do. Why was I fast in rugby? You know, People used to call me sprinter. So I tried to adjust. bring... Adjust. Yeah, to adjust. And it, re it really worked for me well. At least as, as a sprinter, you're not banging <coughs> into anything. Yeah, at <laughs> least it's not, it's not contact. Yeah, but again, it's hard. So your sprinting, you started at university level. As now to, 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 to focus on yeah, 100 focus and 200 yeah, meters. At, at university. Yeah? Yeah. From uh, immediately I got the injury two weeks. Two weeks after, I was so obsessed with sprints because I felt I'm that kind of guy. I, wa I want all my energy to be on track or to be on, on sports. So I really had to look for something I could do. O what, what were you studying or what are you studying in university? I did uh, uh, disaster management mm -hmm. and uh, emerg emergency response. <laughs> so you could have treated yourself. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I tried to do first aid, but uh, you can't do it on you yourself. Can't, you no. can't do it on yourself. At that point, you need an expert. Yeah. You need an uh -huh. expert. At university level, do, you ha do they have the proper medical personnel on ground uh, during these games? Th they usually have the ambulance there, but it's not enough. So they have to rush you to the hospital. Wow, that mm -hmm. can be scary. That can be so scary. So you decide you're going to sprint. When was your first, when did you realize that, eh? Actually, I can be one of the top sprinters in 100, 200 meters. What's your, what's, what's your best time right now in 100 meters? 10.5. Uh, I've run this year and uh, my best time is 10.5. 10.5. Yeah. The, the fourth fastest wow. time in the, in the country right now. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah. 10 5 is fast because yeah. it's less than a second. You have less than a second to cut. <laughs> but one second is a very big I margin know, in, 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 in sprints. Yeah. yeah, because ten zero five was the cutoff time for Olympics for last Olympics, year. Olympics, yeah. Yeah? So um, does the university have a sprint program? Yes. Uh, not really. So I had to find a coach. Mm -hmm. uh, there was a coach we met some times back. He used to sprint for uh, 110 meters hurdles. Mm -hmm. So, <coughs> and he's a close friend to my sister who, uh, who also did track. So he introduced ah, me to so the... it's in the family? Yeah, it's in the family. I have, I have five siblings, all of them doing sports. Wow. <laughs> so he connect, uh, we connected with the coach, but we've not been training together. Mm -hmm. We usually share the programs online. So I have to do a video, send the video. He has to correct, send back. So that's how I've been operating. That's how you've been tra So how long? It's been like one, two years since you started doing sprints? One and, uh, one and a half years. About one and a half years. Yeah. What are some of your achievements? And feel free again to <laughs> boast, <laughs> boast. By the way, I tell athletes, <laughs> you're the one who wakes yeah. up early and trains hard. Boast. Uh, so I started with, my first competition was the Western Region mm -hmm. Universities. I won the 100 and 200. Mm -hmm. Then, two ma that was December last year. Then proceeded to the university nationals the first time. I came second in 100 meters and third in 200 meters. Mm -hmm. Then this year I came to another national university. I won 100 meters and the 200 meters. Then I've run the meets, the AK meets. I've got to four, four finals. Wow. Four finals and for, for a first year it's not easy. People are surprised. It's your first year and you're already you're making the finals. It's, it's your first year, you don't really have proper coaching and yeah. stuff like that, and you're already <coughs> achieving this. You're already in the finals. Mm -hmm. But uh, that's like four. I've, I've gone for five. I went to Uganda mm -hmm. for their national meet. I came fourth. I finished fourth in Uganda. Uh, yeah, I can say For, for universities, <coughs> what's the, uh, where does your time rank? My time? For Kenya universities. For Kenya universities. Uh, I ran a, a, a turn three to qualify for the nationals this year. A 10-3? Yeah. Is, uh, who's faster than you? Nobody. <laughs> Nobody. Right yeah. now, you hold the record. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right now for university, I'm currently, I'm, 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 I'm the champ this year. Eish, but you don't say. <laughs> or you say. Uh, I don't say. <laughs> <laughs> or you yeah, say. I don't say. That's really interesting. What do you think about the fact that uh, Kenyans are finally beginning to take 100 <coughs> meters seriously? You know, you know, I think 100 meters has been there. And, also and sprints. Yeah, generally. sprints has been there. It's just that we didn't have that breakthrough. Most of the people didn't see, uh, you know, working alone or in individual is a bit tough since in, I've, I've noticed in track there, there are no endorsements and stuff and there are no... Yet. Yeah, mm -hmm. yet. 
but after Fadi, you see there are a lot of focus in the track. Actually, if you go, to, if you come to the stadium or mm. the AK meets, we have so many people coming to watch their hundred, just their hundred, just the sprints, you know. So I think it has brought some of the of a good vibe to the track. I, I want us to take a short break here. Uh, when we come back, I want to know where you want to go with this. Uh, Track. Uh, with this uh, sprints of yours, how far you want to go, what are your hopes, your dreams, your challenges. Mm -hmm. I want us to have that conversation in just a bit. So let's take a short break. We'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> Welcome back. This is Radul Live, and I'm sitting here with Tyson Sprint Juma. We have to give you a nickname, <laughs> Sprint Juma Sprint or something. Juma. And I told uh -huh. you, remember that name, because I can guarantee you, you'll be looking for him in the stadium they saying should. selfie, selfie. You know, <laughs> yeah. I sat here, Tyson, of course, uh, has, as he's been telling us, uh, uh, was a rugby player, had to give up because of an injury, um, and now has become a sprinter. And I sat here about a year ago with uh, Omanyala and Marco Tieno, mm -hmm. and... I was like, this guy <laughs> is going places. And sure enough, yeah. uh -huh. now everyone wants a selfie with Fadi. So <laughs> <laughs> mark my words, Tyson Juma, remember that name. So Tyson, uh, we were having <coughs> the discussion. In fact, we were talking about uh, what Ferdinand Omanyala has done for the sport. Mm -hmm. um, uh, just recap what you feel he's done for your career. I mean, just by being, being someone who dared to run 100 meters in a country of long-distance runners. <coughs> You know, first when uh, after rugby, now I was looking. I, I was looking for somebody who, for sprinters in Kenya. You know, you have mm. to check like who are the, these guys running in the Google. country. Mm. Yeah, YouTube every time. And then I was seeing Fadi. Mm. By that time, he was not uh, breaking the records. So I tried uh, when I looked at his videos. Mm. He he attracted me in some way because I thought I felt like we have the same kind of energy. So you almost have the same build. Almost, yes. Almost. <laughs> of so course, he's bulky. He's uh, a bit bulky. Especially in the last one year, but yeah. Yeah. So I try, uh, every time I could watch his videos, watch his interviews, try to see what these guys do, uh, his journey with the track. So he really inspired me and he really motivated me. And uh, he gives me the feeling that this thing is possible. It's possible. Mm -hmm. You just have to work hard for it. And, and he's opened doors to Kenyans seeing that it is possible to do yeah. short distance. Uh -huh. Something we didn't do. The other thing he's also doing is beginning to attract the big names, you yeah, know, yeah. because you mentioned earlier that there are no endorsements for 100 meters. There's no money for 100 yeah, meters, yeah. but clearly there is. The, yeah, there yeah. is. If you, if you are at, at the top level, you know, when I came to track, also, I, w I I've been asking myself this question: mm. like, why don't athletes get? something to support themselves like in rugby or football you know when you need rugby you have a man management team you they supply you with uh, maybe kids some small allowances mm -hmm. but you come to track it's all yourself you have to invest in yourself you're not going to get anything unless you're at the top and you 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 so, so it must be also expensive because you yeah. your your diet is 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 key diet gym mm -hmm. your rest so uh, how do you manage? And you're still a st you're still a student. Yeah, yeah. I, I just completed school. Oh, you just completed yeah, yeah. at uh, Masinde Okay. Uh -huh. yeah, so it's, it's tough. <laughs> I'm, I'm it's tough. It, it's it's really tough. Mm. Uh, even when when I was in uni, you know, you, you you're trying to go into class, but you j you're not just seeing yourself there. You 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 train like two times or three times a day for you to compete at a, at, at a higher level. So you imagine from morning you have a class, you go to class, you now have another session. The coach is there. He, you have to follow the program, so it's it. It was a bit of a challenge. For and the me. cost? How do you manage with the cost? 
I used to do. Oh, you still okay. have to go, mommy, mommy. <laughs> yeah, uh, no, no. <laughs> you know, I, I was, I was, I was hustling. Mm. I, I did some job last year. I used to work uh, to work as a bouncer for like a oh. year. <laughs> I worked as a bouncer for like a year in at Tax Lounge, Kakamega. Oh, I worked okay. there for one year, and I also do dogs. I breed dogs. So you breed dogs. Yes. Yeah. So apart from track, apart from track, I'm I'm in dogs. So I love dogs. I breed dogs. That's so fantastic. <laughs> yeah. But then literally all your money is to, to food to, and to, to feed my dogs and feed myself. Gym. Not even supplements. For now I've not even been You've not started on supplements. That, that serious, yeah. Supplements is such a tricky issue because yeah. we, I mean we all saw what happened with Marco Tieno and unfortunately because yeah. he was telling me that the diet for a sprinter, you need things like salmon, you need yeah. things that are not cheap. Yeah. You can't go to Dagore to go <laughs> and buy salmon, you know. Yeah. But you know So you end up uh, having to Use spend, some supplements, yeah, 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 which yeah. all our top top mm -hmm. athletes do. Yes, you know you have to recover. That's one thing because the yeah. sessions are very tough. They're really tough. So you know, like for me, I I, I live I lived in catch, and you know, in catch food, getting food is not that expensive. Yes. So even if it's not that um, uh, quality, I'll get a, a lot of. There's something of food. you can yeah. get yeah. Or yeah. easily, <laughs> easily. <laughs> I can I can easily feed myself five uh -huh. times a day, uh -huh. so it's it's easy. Yeah. So but coming to Nairobi, mm. it's w the other way around. So right now you're in training. Where do you train now? I train at Kasarani and uh, Harlequins, the Kenya Harlequins. Yeah. So RFUA at grounds. RFUA grounds. I'll go there for my gym and maybe if I want to train on grass, if I want to train on track, I'll have to go to Kasarani three times a, three times a week. Three to but four times a do week. Do you, have a, uh, do you have a team at all, like a manager? Or no. <laughs> you're literally <laughs> on yet. your own. Yeah, literally. But you're on uh, AK's radar. You yeah. go for trials. Yeah. So what, what, what are you hoping for? I'm really looking forward uh, to get any endorsements that will come through because I'm also ready to work for it. And uh, sports, like doing track is a bit expensive for me, also for me, because you have to put so much energy to track for you to get what you want mm. uh, and training is also tough you also need some you, you need accommodation here because the challenge I, I had before I had to travel back to Kakamega you see you have mm -hmm. to go to Kakamega then come back when there are races you're not in Kakamega we don't have tracks so if it rains uh. there's no way I'm going to train on on, on, on on soil so I have to come back to Nairobi train for like two weeks, then get back to Kakamega camp. So there's that inconsistency that so really disruptive. affects you. Yeah. That's disruptive, eh? But I'm trying to cope up with it. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Which competitions are you <coughs> looking forward to? I know the, 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 the university games mm. this week. Mm -hmm. Which other competitions are you, or, or trials, Commonwealth, Olympics, yeah, yeah. are those your targets? I'm, I'm on for the Commonwealth trials mm -hmm. in the next two, two three weeks. So you are going for Commonwealth yeah, trials? Yeah, I'm going for the Commonwealth trials and I'm, I'm, I'm really... What time do you have to do for Commonwealth? <coughs> uh, is there a time they're cut no, There's no time cut off. They don't have like Olympics? So one, two, or maybe one, two, three will qualify. What, what are your chances given, I'm sure you know the competition, apart from <laughs> Fadi, what are your... Comp what are your, your, your who, is there a competition? Is there a stiff competition? Yeah, there's this, there, there is a very stiff competition mm. and that's why we really have, have to work hard. And uh, I'm not seeing myself losing. You're seeing anybody. yourself going for Commonwealth Games. Yes. <laughs> yes, you know, you, you, you have to believe in yourself first. Nobody yeah. will do that for you. So I think for me, I'm just really focused for it. I'm, I feel like I'm really getting into good shape for it. And I uh, can't wait. What do you think the either AK or sports ministry <coughs> should be doing for short distances? Because clearly... We've just been focusing on long distance, but clearly the talent is here. And with all the challenges, and mm -hmm. I spoke to Ferdi and I spoke to Mark, they have the challenges compared to the competition they find at, say, the Olympics and whatever, mm -hmm. is huge. There's such a gap, but it's because we're not investing in 100 yeah, meters. Yeah. What, is, what would be your wish list? Uh, I, like I said before, I, I was wondering why are the sprinters not getting something? You know, they really invest in themselves. We, when you go, when you come to the track and see how it's hard to train for sprints, mm. because you have to eat, you have to go to the gym, you have to pay for maybe swimming, you have to pay for the track. You see, so I, I, if if I was to answer my own question, uh -huh. Athletics Kenya needs to start a program. Yeah, for sprints, they need to start a pr program. 
make uh, even the, 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 the meetings mm. be we have so that we can have more meetings, more meets, at least to build up. You know, the more you comp I came to realize, the more you compete, mm. the more you get the rest sharpness. You'll get the rest yeah. the rest sharpness. So they yeah, need because to we've been seeing Fadi do that. It gets yeah. better every single yeah, race. Yeah. So mm. if you get many races, mm. it, it's easy for you to pick up your speed. Mm. So I think they should work on that too. And uh, maybe try also provide some education about the sprints, because for me doing it myself, I find it I, I, I grow. I'm I'm finding it I'm finding it that I'm growing quicker because I have to do a lot of research, mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. partly it's science, sprints yeah. is science. So you have to I have all the time in my ha in the house. I have to do research, do YouTube, do videos, try to see to correct and correct myself where I'm not able I approach. And now s other sprinters don't have the ability to get to do the research mm. you know so if there i mean if if i was a k i would say um, i want everyone who can run say sub 11 or whatever it is mm -hmm. and put you in this program provide you with this uh these facilities and the food and the, and the support to see where the sprint goes because what 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 ferdinand i mean we keep referring yeah. to him because he's become yeah. a sensation in the last one year in, in the next you know? in the next w one year we're going to have more than four kenyans running maybe nines. Wow. I really see my I, re I really see myself in that and I really see the can the country is there is we are really able to produce more nines because even if you come to the meets mm. we have so much talent. Mm. People are very talented in sprints. But everyone has these same challenges yeah. of resources challenges and yes. management. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. But there's a lot of talent, a lot of talent in sprints. Yeah. So after Commonwealth or you you you're taking one step at a time. One step at a time. One step at a yeah. time. I think we're going to remember Tyson Juma, <laughs> guys. Yeah. Get your selfies now. <laughs> while, he's still, while he's still humble with his feet yeah. on the ground. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what, what do you think about someone like Usain Bolt? Because Bolt, is, he's so flashy and it seems like 100 meters comes with all that yeah. personality. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, you're getting, getting yourself to the line and you imagine you, have, you only have 10 seconds to, for the world to see who you are. Uh, you really to need to be here. Like it's only ten seconds of your life, so and, and so you have to get mentally. everything, everything you have, everything you have for the ten seconds. So Bolt is and, and you've decided you're doing both hundred and two hundred. For this year, we focused with the hundred because mm. two hundred ha also has a very uh, quite tough Demanding. program. Yeah, mm. so we started f we more focus on the hundred this year. On but the from next year, I'll be doing the two hundred. You'll be doing both. I'll be doing both. I've Stuffy. done both, uh. but I, uh, on on this national meets, I've focused on the 100 meters. Because I, I asked Ferdinand the f same question, and he said, "Right now, it's just 100." <laughs> but I remember people like 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 Bolt himself does both. Mm -hmm. I remember Frankie Fredericks. But Frankie Fredericks used to do 100. I think he only used to the meters. Namibian. He only used to do 200. I know 200. He used to 200. Yeah, but most of these short distance guys will do both. But you're so right that you need so much support. You need so much. Yeah, you need so much. Wow. But uh, I just want to wish you the best, uh, Tyson. Thank you. I think you're going to do well. Your attitude is correct. Mm. You, you, you look physically fit. <laughs> <laughs> and and yeah. I wish you the best. Thank you. Thank do you, you have any parting shot for, for, for anyone who wants to do sprints but is thinking, eh, Kenya has no room for sprints? Kenya actually has a lot of room for sprints, mm. especially now. You know, now that I can use the example of Fadi's in the light, we have so much focus on the sprints right now. So if you're really going to go for it, then it's the time. This is the time. This is the time. Yeah, so if you're out there, you want to do sprints, you just have to commit yourself. It's not easy, I can't lie. I've had it, my, I've, I've felt it myself. It's not something that you'll make in one day. You have to be patient with it. It's mm. a progress mm. and uh, it requires a lot of discipline from you. I, w I want to see women get into the sprints because we actually, Ferdinand was actually the second Kenyan to participate in 100 meters at the Olympics. The first was, I think, Joyce, she's called Joyce at the Ambo, the Ambo. I interviewed her on this show like two years ago, um, her and Tekla Lorupe, and Joyce is, uh, she's now an official at AK, but she was at, I think, the 1988, is it 88 Olympics? Uh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Kitambo that's Sana. Kitambo, she's that's a but, but she went for 100 meters, and it's, Unfortunate that it took how many years 
for somebody, for somebody else, else to go. And right now, I'm not seeing the women coming through. I know there's... There um, are women and they're coming through. They're coming through. They have, we have Maximilla. We need to find them. She's really coming through very, very Really? Well. Yeah, really good. We need to find them. Producers, we need to find <laughs> the women sprinters. Yeah. Uh, Washara, we need to find the women sprinters and bring them on this show. <laughs> yeah, so that yeah. they can rival as well. No, mm -hmm. but it's, 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 it's great that it's happening. And I just want to say thank you. Thank you for coming on Radu Live. Santi. Um, and I wish you all the best. And I'm going to get my selfie today so that when you uh, win a medal at <laughs> Commonwealth... I know this guy. I'll be with <laughs> this, guy. this guy. <laughs> so, yeah. well, Tyson, thank you for uh, coming on Radu Live. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the chat. And I hope uh, you keep an eye on Tyson and his progress. And if you see him training, cheer him. <laughs> if you see him running, cheer yeah. him. Yeah. It's not going to mm -hmm. be easy. It's not going to happen overnight. But it's going to happen. Yeah, definitely. Cheers. Someday. We'll see you again next week.